man. As we see here, some of the highlights. But I still can't believe how how much damage John Pryor did on on to Andy Morales' ankle. Have you seen this vicious spinning fisherman suplex? But then this countering T-bone suplex. But then the evil conniving John Pryor just attacking the arms and the legs and then this ankle lock forcing Andy to tap out. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. I mean, both Slash and John Pryor have built themselves a lot of momentum going into thug life for their respective matches. I know that last man standing match between John Pryor and Andy is going to be vicious. It's going to be brutal. And I can't wait for that match to happen at Thug Life. Another match I can't wait for is the one between Slash and Sherman. Two former tag team partners, now hated rivals. Now coming up next, it's going to be a triple threat match. Number one contenders match for the women's title. It's going to come up next. And now we are back. This number one contenders match for, for the XCW Women's Title. I mean, Kendall Lewis is going to get a rematch at, at Thug Life, but we're going to add another person to the equation here. And we're going to have here Sarah Warfield, Miss Penny Dreadful, and Dinah Diamond, all three of them. Battling it out with who will be added in that triple threat match at Thug Life. I mean, all three of these ladies have held the women's title before. I'm wondering who is willing to go that extra step, that extra mile to capture the women's title for a, for a second time. I know Jay Kim is, is the current women's champion that held that title for a second time now. Kendall Lewis trying to cap recapture the women's title. And either of these three could, could very easily be in that title match. I mean, three of the most talented in the women's division. They all bring something different to the table. Sarah Warfield. I mean, there's no doubt that the power and strength that she has, and then Penny Dreadful, the, the high flying ability, the martial arts skills, and Dinah Diamond with her raw determination and vicious punches. And I know there's a couple of others, women that held the women's towel before, I mean, it is pretty hard trying to get everyone a towel shot, given that there's so many in the women's division. But I know Penny Dreadful is ready to go. I know Dinah Diamond is ready to go. Dinah Diamond, just like Sarah Warfield and Penny Dreadful, all three of these ladies determined to recapture the women's title. I 
mean, really, there are no, no, no distractions. I remember last year when, when the collective invaded XGWO, but failed though. I mean, that was a major distraction. So now, now that that's no longer the case. No more obstacles in, in their way to, to try to recapture the women's title. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to this match. How well they, these three ladies can, can go and just really attack. I don't think it's gonna be. Neither one of these ladies wanna back down. We're about to get this match started, and I can't wait for it to get started. Three of the best in the women's division about to go at it right here. Damn, nice move there by Dina Diamond. Going after both of them here. I mean, there's not going to be any alliances. I know all three of these ladies have a lot of respect for each other. But right now, it's about to try to get another tile shot. Because they come... They're very rare. Especially with so many women on the roster. Try to go after the women's titles or, if not, the women's tag team titles. Damn. And now, Sir Warfield trying to take... Damn, and it was a knock. That diamond off the, the ring apron there. And now... Dino Diamond back in the ring. Try to go after Sir Warfield here. Irish whip to the ropes. And oh what a power slam. <laughs> Damn. And now a shoulder takedown going after Penny Dreadful here. And a bicycle kick by Penny Dreadful. And now going after Dino Diamond, but now Diamond with a counter going after the arm. I mean, right now, it's... And now we're... About, oh, what a DET there on the Penny Dreadful. It's just been non-stop. Continuously... Continuously going after each other here. And, and a nice neck breaker by Penny Dreadful. And now Dino Diamond just trying to go after Sir Warfield with... And now... Oh, what a back suplex by Penny Dreadful. I mean, I mean it's something we don't see too often from Penny Dreadful. Just really going to just wrestling 101. But the one thing that Penny Dreadful is a, an expert at is martial arts and just well educated feet, well placed strikes. And now Diamond now going after Penny Dreadful. And now Irish whip to the ropes. And now, oh, what a kick by Penny Dreadful. Oh, what a knee by Sir Warfield. A sweep of the leg. And now, what's Penny Dreadful doing? Oh, nicely done. Now. Oh, nice counter by Sir War. Oh, Penny Dreadful, but Sir Warfield catches Penny Dreadful with that STO. Ammon, Dino Diamond knocking Sir Warfield off the ring apron, out of, out of the ring, and out. Does this back and forth action here? It's been. Now does a double team on a Sarah Warfield, and that's what you have to. You have to go against the strongest individual, try to level out the playing field. Well, that's hard to say, given that that all three of these ladies specialize in something that makes that makes them stand out in in that department. And now Sarah Warfield with that DDT. I mean, the speed that Penny Dreadful has, that high flying ability, those strikes, the strength, the technical ability of Sarah Warfield, the raw determination, the vicious strikes from 
Dino Diamond. Damn. Oh, punch to the top of the head there by Sir Warfield. Penny Dreadful misses with that bicycle kick and pays the price and got hit with that German suplex. And now, what? Penny Dreadful getting back up. And now roll up the cover. And Dia Diamond able to make the save there. A roundhouse kick and now, oh, oh the victory on a boot connects and now the cover now. Two and Oh, Sarah Warfield at the very last second interrupting that pin. And got swatted away from that trying to attempt the drop kick. Right now, Sarah Warfield is on top of things, and what is it? Twisting neck breaker that was. Now, Sarah Warfield with a clothesline. Irish whip and knocking am just move after move here first Dinah Diamond knocks Sir Warfield off the, the ring apron and then Penny Dreadful goes after Dinah Diamond with a with that over the back face buster and now Sarah Warfield with going high risk there now at the elbow and now why why Penny why did Penny Dreadful Bring a steel chair into the match. And now, Penny Dreadful with a submission hold. And we don't see this too often from Penny Dreadful. And we don't see this too often either. Very amateur wrestling like. And now Dyna Diamond going after Sarah Warfield, but couldn't as Sarah Warfield able to to regain her senses and swat away that drop kick and now Sarah Warfield bringing another steel chair into play and now the cover Sarah Warfield misses with the chair and again she misses but Penny Dreadful gets the pin but regardless a nice victory by Penny Dreadful you see some some of the highlights of the of the match That's, Penny Dreadful with this pin combination out of nowhere and then Penny Dreadful with the Victoriana boot connects and and then this not that I was talking about first Dinah Diamond going after Sarah Warfield and then Penny Dreadful going after Dinah Diamond and then the pin as Sir Warfield was unable to connect with that chair shot, trying to interrupt the pin. I mean, I think that was a big mistake on, on Sir Warfield's part, but was nevertheless, Penny Dreadful is, your, is the victor. She pick up, picks up the victory, and now she's going to be in that triple threat match that also has Jade Kim the champion and Kendall Lewis getting a rematch. We're now sticking with Maria interviewing Jonathan Magnum.